Spend 50 hours to make this video and I hope to see your support. Hello everyone, my name is Zeno and I want to show you every day what I do on this hardcore map. Firstly, I start to collect some wood. I make my first tool and start collecting some stone. I gather the first pieces of coal and iron. I go to the surface to look for some sheep to make a bed for myself. I gather some bamboo and kill some fish. Seeing the night is approaching and I can't find any sheep, I make a boat and I go to the river hoping to find a village. Luck comes to me finding a village and I hurry to go to sleep. Day 2. I started exploring the village and locked some villagers in their houses. I took all the hay I found in the village and I then jumped into a cave to collect some coals. I killed some pigs and went to bed. Day 3. I say goodbye to the village. I went to explore some caves where I found only coals. I went down to a cave with some doors to look for some iron. I fried my iron and made my first armor. And then I went in search for more caves. Day 4. I descended into a huge cave to look for iron. I gathered some iron, risking my life for only a few pieces. After gathering some iron I decided to leave the cave. And I spent the rest of the day to killing fish. Day 5. I started the day exploring and I found a very beautiful place. I started exploring it and I decided to settle here. And then I changed the place a bit and started making a small farming place. At the end of the day, I made an iron armor and planted some crops. Day 6. I started digging a mine and then explored a cave that was full with glowberry. I encountered small problem with lava but nothing stopped me from getting diamond. Day 7. I started the day by finishing the stairs to the surface and then gathering iron again. I gathered the fruits of my labor, I modified the area again and I increased the farming area. Day 8. I increased the farming area more and then I went to look for more iron. I also find some abandoned mines that I consider too dangerous so I return. I finished the day cutting a huge tree. Day 9 to 11. I spent day 9 to 11 underground looking for diamonds. The fourth diamonds being found near the ladder by mistake. I finished his day finding 10 diamonds. Day 12 to 15. At the beginning of the 12th day I was about to die. A creeper exploded behind me, at which point I decided I need some enchantments. I looking for obsidian and I accidentally found some diamonds. I gathered some obsidian and after I realized that I need leather for enchantment table. I gathered all my crops and divided them into two areas, one for carrots and one for potatoes. I get some dirt and explain the farming area again. But in this area I will only plant hay. I have prepared a special place for the cows I will bring. Now I'm going to find some cows. I went in search for cows and I found some sheep. I took that home and I put them in place ready for the cows. Looking for cows, I found an abandoned portal where I took everything I found. In the end, I found some cows and took them home. On the 16th day, I multiplied the animal and then I went to gather some wood until late in the evening, spending the night in the forest. Day 17 to 21. I decided to make a bridge to the inside of the caves and I started to work making small change to the terrarium. I finished the bridge but there were still small details missing. I swore an enderman and I want to beat him for enderpot but he didn't give it to me. After that I added the details. I could some mines. And I started to make another bridge. 
I made an enchantment table and placed it on the end of the two bridges. But unfortunately I still don't have enough bookshelf to do it for level 13. Day 22 to 25. Day 22 I spent it mining and I got 13 diamonds. Day 23 I started by multiplying the codes and then I went mining again. Day 25 comes. And after remining a lot, we return to the surface with 9 more diamonds. Day 26 I receive a very good idea in the comments to make a tree house and in the following we will do it. I chose a tree for the house and now I am going to collect some spruce. I crossed the river with my boat and I start to collect wood. I can see the whole area at the top of this tree. Night is approaching so I hurry home. Day 27. I start the day by killing some cows. I make some books and now I hope I can complete the enchantment table. I placed all my bookshelf but it's not enough for level 13. I started to modify the chosen tree by cutting the leaves and making a stronger stem. Day 28 I started making the floor for the future house. Then I started making walls for him. After that I started to make the roof for him. I made a big part of the roof and the night is here. Day 29 I started the day by finishing the roof. The next thing is to add the leaves. The next thing is to decorate the interior. Day 30. I had some problem with pillager, but I beat them. I collect some sand because I need glass to my treehouse. I fried the glass and I placed the glass in my treehouse. I kill some cows and the night is here. Day 31 to 32. The first thing in this day is to make my enchantment table to level 30. The problem is that I don't have uh, an uh, XP source and the faster solution is to mine quartz for XP. That's why I made a portal to nether and I start to mining quartz. I made my first enchants and I get a very good enchantments on my pickaxe. From the second enchants I receive the seal touch. Day 33. I changed my texture back and if you want to have it you have a link in the description. In this day I want to make a road to my treehouse. At the end of the day I made my road to my treehouse. Day 34. I add some details and I really like how it look like the road to the treehouse. And now I want to go to mine some diamonds. In the end of the day I am mining 13 diamonds. Day 35. Because I have 13 diamonds I want to craft me a full diamond armor. Before that I am going to mine some quartz because I need level to enchant. Day 36. After I get level 33 I started to make some enchantments on my armor. And I go back to mine some quartz for level. I have level 33 again and I make some enchantments on my rest of my armor. Day 37 On this day I decided to start building stairs down to the river. I started the work by cutting a huge mushroom. I am preparing the space for the stairs by cutting down some trees. In the end of the day I finishing a part from the stairs. Day 38 I starting the day by cutting a huge tree which was on its way. I had almost finished the stairs but because the night was coming I had to stop. Day 39 Early in the morning I finished making the stairs but the details are still missing. For the details I need spruce so I took my boat and I went after it. In the end of the day I cut down two trees. Day 40 in this day I start working on the details of the stairs. I made some pillars that support the stairs and some parts of the mountain. In the end of the day I peeled all the spruce log. Day 41 In this day I want to finish the details on the stairs. 
I think to add some details with stone, stone brick and andesite to look like it support a part of the mountain. I made these details and I really like how it look. Day 42. I was looking at the work I did yesterday and then I went to find a good place for an industrial area. I found a nice place for the industrial area and it is right behind my base. I start to cut down some trees and to make terraforming. The rest of the day I went nether to do some XP. Day 43 I made another hoe and I put some enchantments on them. I chose two sheep and I went with them to the industrial area. In the rest of the day I made terraforming in that industrial area. At the end of the day I meet a wandering trader. Day 44 At the beginning of the day I kill some sheep and I keep only two. I go to mine to collect some obsidian because I want to make a portal to the industrial area. I go in nether and I move my portal to level 64 because I have some plans for the future. I made the portal to the industrial area and everything work perfectly. And the rest of the day I made a small tunnel between the portals. Day 45 to 46. I decided to go back to the village what I found in the first day and I make a tunnel in the nether to that village. I arrive in the village and I thinking about where to make the portal. I made the portal in nether and everything worked perfectly. In the end of the day I made a tunnel from this portal to my home. Day 47 Today I want to take two villagers to the industrial area. I hardly managed to put the villagers in the portal. And after a long time I arrive with them at the industrial area. Day 48 to 50 I start including all the tree in the area where I want to make the next industrial area. And in the rest of the time I make very very more terraforming. The finish of the day 50 is here and you can see how much terraforming I did. Day 51 I'm going to the industrial area because I want to be a villager breeder. I chose the place where I want to do it and I got to work. I made a platform on which the villager will stay and the night is here. Day 52 Early in the morning I finished the platform where the villager will stay and I put the water that will take the small villagers to another place. I put a trapdoor and a block above their glass because in this way I will collect small villagers. I started to prepare the farming area for the villagers and I planted some wheat. Day 53 I went to the village to collect the bats. I put some composters and some bats for the villagers to multiply quickly because I need a lot of villagers. And in the end of the day I made a water tunnel for the small villagers. Day 54 On this day I decided to bring the two villagers here. And for that I made some tunnels to take them up. But as night approached I decided to leave this to the next day. And I started to make the place where I will store the small villagers. At the end of the day I finished the little place where I will keep them. Day 55 in the morning I took the villagers up to their place. I used an old technique of me to get villagers to their places faster. And finally I arrived with both villagers in their place. Day 56 On this day I decided to make a very simple and beginning mob farm. For a start I prepared the place for the future mob farm. I beat an enderman but he didn't give me an ender pearl. I made a tube on which one the mob will fall and the beginning of a platform. Day 57 I finished the first platform early in the morning and I still need some trapdoor for the collection system. In the end I finished the collection system with water and trapdoors. In the end of the day I made another layer. Day 58 I started the day doing another layer. And then I did the roof of the mob farm which I stayed to work until night to finish it. Day 59 I started the day by collecting some coal. 
After that I placed some torches on the top of the mob farm. I started to make a small platform from which I could easily beat the mobs. While trying to get water out of inside a creeper exploded destroying a part of the tube. In the end of the day I finished the place where I will beat the mob easily. Day 60 On this day I decided to make an outline of the future island with netherrack. In the end of the day I finished the outline of the future island. Day 61 On this day I want to cut down all the trees in the island area. Because my axe is almost destroyed I made another one and I put an enchant on it. When I got to the industrial area I started working. After I cut the last tree I went to sleep. Day 62 I started to put all the dirt I have on the netherrack level. It was enough on a large area and the rest of the day I spent to collect dirt. Day 63 to 64 Because I wanted to speed up the process of multiplying the villager, I gave a stack of potatoes to each one villager. After then I replaced all the carrots with potatoes. And the rest of the time I spent to make terraforming until late at night. Day 65 First villager also appeared. After that I started to prepare a place for the villagers. I started building a trading area. In the end of the day I finished to make that. Day 66 For the beginning I make 4 lectern. After that I put them in the future place where the villager will stay. Seeing that I have so many I started to take each one to his place. I prepared the method by which one I will take them and I took them. And at the end of the day I put 3 villagers. Day 67 I spent this day trying to get good enchantments. Finally I found Mending which is a very good enchantment and I will really need it so I blocked the trade. Day 68 On this day I tried to find more good trades. I find Protection Form which is a very very good enchantment. Next enchantment is Efficiency 4 which is a very good enchantment. Day 69 On this day I decided me to make a huge farming area. Now I start to transform the dirt. I finish to transform all pieces of dirt and the night is here. Day 7 I started to planting all the crops I have. I took a few more villagers to the trading area. In the rest of the day I made terraforming. Day 71 I got another very good enchantment which is looting too. At the end of the day I moved two more villagers to trading area. Day 72 Firstly I made another farmer. I start to make some terraforming because I want to make a sugarcane plantation. I prepared the soil for the plantation and then I planted the sugarcane. Day 73 to 75 for the beginning I made some orders in my inventory because I will go in nether to get some blaze rod. I made some bread and I go in nether. I found a very very dangerous place. After I beat the piglin I saw pillars of a fortress. Then I went up, I meet with a blaze rod and a wither skeleton. And I beat them. I found a lot of chests. I beat a lot of blaze and I got 9 blaze rod. And the final of day 75 is here. Day 76. I craft a brewing stand and I place it in the front of a villager. I prepare a place for nether world and after that I place it. I collect some sand because I need that in the near future. Night had come but I stay up all night to kill spider for spider egg. Day 77. I started the day by modifying the trading area with villagers so them I could easily turn them into zombie villagers. In the end I finish in making the system through which I will transform villagers and I coach a zombie. And then I gather some mushroom because I needed them to craft fermentated spider ray. And now I can craft the fermentated spider ray. I made a potion of weakness and after that I transformed that in splash potion. The night is here and I spend the night to kill spiders for spider ray. Day 78 On this day I decided to go in nether to collect gold. 
After a while I gather some gold nugget and I turn in into gold ingot. After that I made 9 golden apple. When I wanted to transform in the villagers, I saw that the zombie disappear. After that I brought another one and I got to work. I transformed 4 villagers and now I will heal them. After that I transform another 4 villagers. Day 79. I held the first villagers and they gave me a big discount. I go in there to collect some gold because I want to repeat the process. I made some golden apples and I going to transform the villagers. At the end of the day I healed them too. Day 80. Now I have very big discount so I started to doing a lot of trade with them to max them out. I bought a lot of enchanted books from them and after that I going to mine some iron. Day 81. I fried all the iron I have. After that I made an anvil. And now I start to put enchantments on all pieces of my armor to make it as stronger as possible. Day 82. The creeper explode behind me. I was in order to make level 31 and after that I went to put an enchant on my bow. And the next enchant is power 4. So I go back in nether to make level 30 again. And now I get a bow with power 4. Day 83 to 85. I bought 4 sharpness 1 to make sharpness 3 and after that I bought looting 2 for my sword. I put on my pickaxe efficiency 5 and mending. After I went to the nether to mine some ancient debris. Exactly when I reached level 50 I found the first piece of ancient debris. I found another two ancient debris and another one. In day 85 I returned to home with 17 pieces of ancient debris. Day 86 I fried my ancient debris and I craft my first two pieces of netherite ingot. And now I transform my diamond armor into a netherite armor. And now I want to make my sword but unfortunately I don't have enough XP. And in the rest of the day I collect my all crops. Day 87. Firstly I sell my all crops to the villagers. And in the rest of the day I made terraforming. Day 88. I place looting 2 on my sword and unfortunately I don't have enough XP to place more enchants. And now I'm going in nether to make some XP. In nether I beat a guest and I get a new achievement. And now I can place mending on my sword. And after that I make a bow with power 4 and punch 1. Day 89. I start the day by killing 2 endermans and I get 2 ender pearls. After that I craft 6 ender pearls and I go to find where is the stronghold. But before I gathered some obsidian to make a portal to it. And now I go to the stronghold. Day 90 to 91. I found the desert so from now I will know where I can get sand. Finally I found a place and I start digging. Digging I found the portal directly. I put all the pearls I had and then I made a portal to nether. Day 92. On this day I decided to do a lot of terraforming and I did that until late at night. Day 93. On this day I decided to make a tunnel to the end portal. I risk my life quite a bit making a trip over the lava. After I finish I turn on the portal and I tested it. Day 94 to 95. Seeing that my helmet is not netherite I decided to go mine for ancient debris. After a long time I found enough ancient debris for two netherite ingots. Day 96. Firstly I put my ancient debris in furnace and I look for the piece of netherite scalp I still had. I made my helmet into a netherite helmet and I made an achievement. I made my pickaxe in a netherite pickaxe and then I start repair it. I made a bow with power 4 and punch 1. I made some strength potion to have power in the battle with the dragon. Day 97. On this day I decided to make another place for a villager. So I moved the zombie, prepared the place and then I put the villager. Day 98. For the beginning I managed to get a villager with unbreaking 3. I craft the last tile vendor what I need. 
I activate the portal and I enter in the end. The first strange thing was that the obsidian tower were missing, but maybe it's because we are on a snapshot. And then I started to beating the dragon. I fill my bottles and then I beat the dragon. Day 99 to 100. I spent these two days doing a lot of terraforming. The end of day 100 is here and I did a lot of terraforming. That was the first 100 day of Minecraft Hardcore on 1.18. Like and share for the next part.